name's Bradford Shaw Herman. I'm a recycle artist. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's get into this video. Wait, hold on. How did you get this gig? A couple of years ago, I made a video of an environmental sculpture I created. That sculpture inspired the CEO of Sydney Byrne Davis Art Mr. Center Herman? to propose me with an awesome opportunity. Is there any way that you could make a load more of these ads, adhere them to the outside of the building to advertise for your very own one-man show? That sounds amazing. Hello? Good evening, Bradford. Jim, hey. I forgot one detail. What's up? You're not allowed to drill into this historic building. And no one touches my eager. I'll have to figure that out. That's what I wanted to hear. Good night. All right, bye. In this video, I'm going to show you how I adhered 100 coconut ants to the outside of the art center without drilling into the building and the outcome of the two-day installation. How did I adhere these ants to the building Sydney Byrne Davis Art Center without drilling into the natural coral limestone? You have an anchor. This anchor, once you put a screw through it, expands. When it expands, it holds that screw taut. That's how you hang things in your drywall. I've already placed an anchor in the natural hole. I created this bracket out of PVC pipe which is a little bit larger than the diameter of the backbone of the ant. Snaps in, holds the backbone. Take the bracket, put it over the anchor. The riser is not drilled all the way through. I left a half an inch to hold the screw head. Ant body, snap on, and there it holds the ant. Art is in as of yesterday. It took me three months to make the 100 ants. John can do the honors. The honor. The last ten of 100. We did it. We did it. I feel so proud of this work. Tell you not to touch this eagle. <laughs> if I don't touch it, <laughs> I hope the oil in my hands doesn't do anything like the corals. Will you touch it for me, please? Oh, oh. <laughs> 